Hi, and welcome to this week's video. I'm David, a level three technician at AVA Direct Custom Computers. And today, we're gonna to be looking at the Pimax Crystal VR headset. Now let's just jump right into the headset. The build quality is good. It's a lightweight, durable plastic. The head strap is adjustable, but locks into place securely. The cable is detachable and has a good coating to re reduce tangling. And the lenses are glass aspheric lenses, which are far less likely to scratch than the plastic lenses that other headsets use. Now, the controllers are pretty solid. Uh, they're built pretty well. We've definitely dropped them and banged them up against some stuff and they don't show anywhere. And uh, the tracking is actually really good. Uh, the headset uses inside out tracking. So it uses the cameras uh, on the headset to track them. And uh, it feels pretty good. We played Beat Saber and Half-Life Alex, and we never noticed any controller drift or anything like that. Now that's great and all, but what really sets the Pimax Crystal apart is its groundbreaking display technology. It has a resolution of 2880 by 2880 per eye and a refresh rate of 120 Hertz. It also uses quantum dot LED panels with mini LED backlights, which support local dimming. All this means that the crystal offers unparalleled clarity. Now on the software side, Pimax has their new app called Pimax Play. This was extremely useful as it both guides you through the initial setup and has built-in tech support. Now we didn't run into any major issues with the headset, but one issue we did have was correctly diagnosed by the software, which told us that we needed to restart the service, which was just as simple as one click button in the app. We intentionally left the display port and USB unplugged, and the software was able to tell us that the headset wasn't plugged in correctly and how to correct the issue. Now, Pimax also offers a robust ecosystem of add-ons for the crystal, including a lighthouse compatible faceplate, hand tracking, adjustable top strap, 40 millimeter DMAS earphones, and their own sword controllers. For testing, we used VR Mark's Blue Room because we thought that its 5K rendering in complex textures would best represent the experience playing on the crystal. Based on the FPS in Blue Room, we think the GPU you should be looking at is the RTX 4060 Ti, which ran at 81 FPS. Blue Room shows great scaling throughout the GPUs we tested, so it might be worth to get something higher end, like a 4070 Super or a 4080 Super for future VR titles. Now, your CPU is far less important when it comes to running VR games. We found that a 12th Gen i5 or 7000 series Ryzen 5 processor is a good match for pretty much any GPU. Now, it might be worth upgrading to an i7 or a Ryzen 7, as future titles might incorporate more advanced physics or larger environments. Now, in conclusion, the Pimax Crystal is a great headset. Its impressive display, comfortable design, and top-notch performance makes it a must-have for any enthusiast looking to take their VR experience to new heights. That's it for today's look at the Pimax Crystal. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Until next time, happy gaming.